Whether it's in your home or in the garage, at the office or at your child's school, walls experience varying levels of abuse and impact. Baseball bats, kids' toys, and other hard objects have finally met their match. To test a product's ability to withstand abuse and impact, the American Society for Testing Materials developed ASTM C1629. This method is used to determine a gypsum board's ability to withstand increased levels of abrasion and impact, and is composed of four separate tests. Let's take a look at one of these. ASTM D5420, also known as the Gardner Impact Test. In this test, a sample of gypsum board is laid flat and impacted by a 5 8 inch hemispherical head dropped from a height that provides 72 inches per pound of impact energy. The indentation's depth is measured to determine the ability of the panel to resist dents. We tested two types of 5 8 inch gypsum board. Here, the sample of standard 5 8 inch gypsum board exceeded the allowable depth from the impact rod and did not qualify for this standard. With the high impact XP product manufactured by National Gypsum, the tested sample achieves a level one and is successful in resisting dents from the impact rod. National Gypsum's High Abuse XP also achieves a level one rating in this test. Both the High Abuse XP and High Impact XP, which are easy to identify by their original color purple, have achieved Green Guard Indoor Air Quality and Green Guard Children and Schools certification. Understanding the ASTM testing methods, the appropriate product for your application, as well as the features and benefits of that product will ensure that you have selected the most effective solution for areas that experience increased surface abrasion and impact.